Hello everybody, my name is Alejandra Yulari. I'm a bilingual audiologist and the author of Audiology Services in Diverse Communities. I was born and raised in Ecuador, so Spanish is my first language. I trained in audiology in the US and in Australia, and I've been very lucky to have had the opportunity to practice the profession in both languages. I worked a couple of years in the United Kingdom, seven years in Ecuador, and coming up to 10 years in the US. I'm a clinician like you. I've seen the challenges many of our patients for whom English is not their preferred or dominant language. I've seen the challenges they face when they interact with the healthcare system. I've also seen the limitations we have as clinicians when trying to provide optimal services to this population group. This is what motivated me to write audiology services in diverse communities. I wanted to create a tool that will provide clinicians with a range of resources in Spanish that will facilitate language concordance during the clinical encounter between the clinician, the patient, and the family. So the biggest section of the book is the language tool. This is also my favorite part. When you open this section, you would find English on the left-hand side, Spanish on the right-hand side. In this section, you should expect standardized questionnaires that have been translated and validated into Spanish, description of tests, instructions for the patient, patient education materials, an overview of hearing aid technology, an overview of speech perception test batteries available to you that you could use for hearing aid validation and cochlear implant assessment, this is a great resource for you, but also for the interpreter that you might be working with in clinic. This will help us ensure that the information our patients receive is always consistent, that nothing is lost in, in translation. Prior to introducing you to the language tool, we do a quick overview of cultural competence and some of the barriers that our patients might face when accessing audiological care. In the same manner, we discuss possible solutions that we can implement in our clinical settings based on the current literature and successful experiences either in our field or in other specialties. I'm so excited that you're interested in audiology services for diverse communities, and I'm thankful that you're part of the solution and we can all advance audiological care for the Latino Hispanic community.